What is up, folks? Welcome back. Jorge and Nito here. Thanks for stopping in. We got that two minute tutorial for you today. We're doing a modified tilt. Ed Marlowe. This originated with Marlowe, but this is not the Marlowe tilt. It's a modified tilt with two contributions one from Alex Pandrea and another from me. Um, just a little something. Just a little something. Just a little something. I'm not the biggest fan of the tilt, and I never have been. I don't like the way it looks. I don't like the way it feels. Just not a fan of it. Um, but I do see the value in using uh, the tilt, sort of, you know, having it in your arsenal, having it in your tool bag, and using it uh, every once in a while. I do use it every once in a while, and I see a lot of people do enjoy using it on YouTube. Uh, so let's go ahead and check this out right now. You can control any card just by sticking it right there in the middle of the deck, losing it. I actually like to go ahead and leave it protruding ever so slightly. That way the spectator can see the moment that it goes in. Uh, you could do one of these little numbers right here, la-di-da, not on the bottom, not on the top. Proceed on top. All right. Very cool, very cool move. Uh, pinky break, just like this when they're not looking. And instead of doing this number right here that drives me crazy and countless other people, you actually want to take your thumb and break half of the pack up. And so from the front, it really does look like it's going right there in the break that you just lifted up when in reality it's going right there in the middle. Now this is Alex Pandre's contribution. This is the tilt position. This is his contribution right here. And this is a little knacky at first. I'll, I'll be honest with you. I struggled just to, to be able to hold the break and pick this up. Um without that first card looking all crazy. And what I found is that it's just as easy as picking it up kind of at the corners, using your index finger just to kind of keep it flush, and then just lifting it up. You got your break. You go in just like that, and it really does look like, it really does look like it's going right there in the middle, when all the while it's going right there. And this is my contribution. I simply say, you know what, I'll tell you what, let's actually just leave the card protruding out. Um, that way you can really see that it is in the middle. I push it in. Now here's the thing. Um, come under a little fire because people are like, why do you put it in the back only to show it out the front? And it's almost like it's an afterthought, like it's a non-moment. You're just kind of like, okay, we'll just go ahead and lose your card in the deck. And then without closing the break, they think that it's right here, right in here, like the top card, like it just slid in there. And I always say, and you know what? And I grab my thumb and I just peel off ever so slightly. I kind of grip with the other thumb and uh, middle finger just so I can use this thumb to come around and push it out the front. And so it's almost just like an afterthought, like we're going to lose your card in the deck and you know what? I'll tell you what. Just before I close it, let's just go ahead and leave it sticking out for a second. That way you can see that it is going in the middle, right? And so that's the justification. That's it, guys. I know this went a little longer than three minutes, or two minutes. It's supposed to be two minutes tutorial. What's up, Jorge? It's three minutes. Anyway, thank you, guys, for uh, checking this out. I hope you get some mileage out of it. I don't use it a lot, but I do use it. Um, it's nice to have different stuff. Thanks, guys. God bless. Stay tuned tomorrow. I'm going to try to get a very special episode of Famous Magician Moves out. I've been working on this for a long time, and uh, hopefully, uh, Lord willing, it'll be out tomorrow. Have a good night. Stay safe.